Welcome everyone, you are here on Change Anything and I'm your host Chuck Lott. And before we get started, I just wanna say that I am very excited to begin this show to give each and every one of you an opportunity to make a positive change in your life. And so that's the premise of the show and that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to talk about how to make a change. Many times, you know, you talk about making a change in your life, but you never actually do it. And there are a lot of things that we may want to change, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to get very specific in how to make those changes. So what I want you to do right now is press pause and go and get a piece of paper, or you can grab your cell phone or your tablet, and you can go ahead because I might want you to take some notes for today. Now, all of you at home, you have the opportunity to submit anything to me so that I can work on giving you a blueprint as to how to make a change in your life. I want to be able to offer help to you. And so as the weeks go on, we'll bring on experts and we'll bring on guests and we'll talk about how to make changes, how to go about those changes, how to make sure you're positively tracking each step of the process. Um, but before we get going, the late great Dr. Maya Angelou had a great, great quote. If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude about it. And that's what we're gonna do. So, first you have to be specific. You have to figure out which, which aspect of your life you wanna change. Is it personal? Is it health, family, relationships? Is it something in your social circle? Uh, is it your attitude or your spirit? Is it career focused or is it financial? So it, there could be that you could want to change all of those things, but we definitely want to make sure that you do one at a time so that you can focus all your efforts on that. So after you have been specific in figuring out that goal, the next question that you really need to ask yourself is, have you reached the point of no return yet? Have you gotten to that point to where you cannot take it anymore and you have to make a change? If that answer is no, that means that you're really not at the point of making a change or that change isn't important enough to you to make that change and make it happen now. So that's the main thing that you need to focus on. If there's something in your life that you want to change, it has to be at that point where it absolutely has to change. It, there is no, no getting around that. So we've got those two taken care of. So now we have to prepare because this is gonna be a long process. This is gonna be a long road. So what's your plan of action? The first thing you have to do is write out your plan. And we'll, talk, we'll go through steps over the, over the course of the show. We'll go through steps as to how to write out a plan. Once you get your plan, you have to communicate that plan. Communicate it to everyone that you can so everyone knows that you are in the process of making a change. And after you communicate your plan, you have to make the necessary sacrifices for that plan. There are a lot of things that you may have to give up. There are a lot of things that you may not want to give up, but to effectively make changes in your life, positive changes, there will be things that you have to give up. And after you decide on those necessary sacrifices and you make those necessary sacrifices, you have to implement your plan. Implementation is, is a lost art. We write things down all the time. We, we have to-do lists everywhere. There are things that we say we want to do, but very rarely do we get to them. You have to implement your plan. And once you implement your plan, there is no stopping. You have to start and finish. There is no in-between. Now, you have the plan, but do you have general steps or detailed steps? Do you have a vague goal or do you have a smart goal? Now, I don't mean this smart. I mean specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-based. If you're setting your goals off of those five aspects, you will be able to, to measure all the, all the steps. And it has to be real. It has to be attainable. And you have to give yourself a time. You can't say, oh, well, you know, I want to save... $500, period. Can't do that. You gotta give yourself a time frame. I wanna save $500 in the next month, in the next two months. 
I want to lose 10 pounds over the next month, over the next two months. You have to make sure that you're giving yourself a time frame so that you can be accountable, so that you can hold yourself accountable. Now, after we have the plan and we implement that plan, is fear a factor? A lot of times, changes don't happen because we're afraid. It's okay to be afraid, but what are you afraid of? Are you afraid of losing something? Or are you actually afraid of getting whatever change you're trying to get? A lot of times you hear that, be careful what you wish for, because you just may get it. That's actually true. So you have to prepare and understand what setting a goal means and what achieving that goal means as well. And once we get to that point, is there anything else holding you back? Because if something's holding you back, it's probably another change that you need to make. Now, are you gonna do this alone? You're here on this show, you're not gonna do it alone. I'm gonna make sure that we help you along, at least get you started. And then the fun part about this show is over two or three months or more, we will follow up with, with certain, certain shows and we'll check your feedback, we'll check your progress and make sure that you are still en route to the change that you wanted to make, the change that you reached out to us to help you with. So you won't be alone. Now some people may need to be alone, some people need to do things on their own, some people like to have support groups. That's why you have to communicate that plan. If you're communicating your plan, you're not gonna be alone. You're gonna find someone who wants to help you out, someone who's gonna cheer you along the way, whether it be family, friends, or someone you don't know. Because I'll tell you right now, I probably don't know a lot of you, and a lot of you don't know me other than what you see on the show, but I'll be your personal cheerleader and I'll make sure that we continue on the path to making the changes that you seek out from us. Now, the biggest thing that you have to be aware of on the road to change is that it's not going to be easy. There are going to be setbacks. There are going to be people who don't like the change that you're trying to make. Some people are used to the way things are. A lot of people are used to the way things are, let's be honest. And if you're trying to make a change, they might not like it. But this change is for you. It's not for them. So you have to understand that there will be negative reactions, roadblocks, setbacks. That's a part of life. You have to make sure that as you're on this road to change that you are strong enough to continue through no matter what happens because you can't stop. You, you can't begin something halfway through, it's not what you wanted it to be, and then you stop because you have to be patient. Your change is not gonna happen tomorrow. It might not happen next week or next month. But if you continue at it and you work at it and you stay persistent, you will achieve your change, you will achieve your goal. So you have to make sure that you are patient. But while you're being patient, you have to make sure that you learn every step of the way. You cannot get caught up on the whys and the why nots and the what ifs. The paralysis of analysis happens every day. If you sit there and try to figure out why something isn't the way you wanted it to be, why something isn't the way you thought it should be, this is what life should be, you're, you're gonna get stuck. You're gonna have a hard time really trying to, to get over that hurdle. Life is what you make it, and you have to make sure that as we prepare to get on this journey, as we prepare to make this change, whatever it is, positively for your life, that it's gonna take time. It's not gonna be easy. And you can't sit back and wonder why. You can't just, you can't be stuck because that's probably why we need to make that change in the first place. So we need to make sure we keep moving the entire time. Now, I say this on just about every show that I talk on. There are six billion people, over six billion people on this planet. That means there are six billion ways to define change there are over six billion ways to define success. So you need to understand that your idea of change, your, your plan to change, is gonna be different than someone else's. So you cannot base your plan off of someone else's. You can't do what someone else did to get to where they are. Um, you are unique, 
Everyone on this planet is unique, and so you have to make sure that your goal, your plan, is uniquely tailored to you. It's, it's custom. You have to make sure that it's custom, and that's why we want you to reach out to us, and we'll start you off with a blueprint. We'll get you going. But after that point, you have to make sure that every step along the way is you, not us. Because I can do things one way, but every single one of you can do things a totally different way than I can. And if you try to do it my way and you don't get the same result, you may or may not be disappointed. That's not what we want. But you have to make sure that even through disappointment, you're still going. There's always another way. So just keep everything moving. Make sure that your plan is custom. It's tailored to you. Take into account your history, your surroundings, your environment, everything. Again, I, I, I've traveled a lot over the last 10 years. I've, I've been to many different states, many different countries, and the things that I have experienced have shaped me and made me the person that I am. So the way that I perceive change is totally different than a lot of other people perceive change. I'm, I like to consider myself a cold turkey kind of person. If I need to make a change, when, that, when I get to that point of no return, that's it. I cut it off, it's done. Most people can't do that. Most people need to slow themselves down or you know, take, take a little bit of time to get to where they need to be. So you know, I could tell you one thing, you can't be afraid, you've gotta do it. It might not work for you. You can still be afraid, but that does not mean that you cannot do it. And with that, you can't tell yourself that you can't do it. You can't tell yourself that you probably can't do it because you've always done it that way. Odds are you probably can make the change. And again, it's really tough. Don't worry about it. Life has no remote control. So you have to get up and change it yourself. And the last thing that I wanna leave you with before we begin this process of change is you can never give up. Never ever give up. Now ladies and gentlemen, from here, you can reach out to us on Facebook, Twitter, you can send an email, whatever your heart desires, you can give us a phone call. But from here, submit your topics, submit anything that you wanna change, whether it's big or small, it doesn't matter what it is. And from there, we will choose, we will put it in a queue, and we will choose which topic we will address every week. And then we will follow up with select stories to make sure that people are staying on task and staying on track with those changes that they wanna make in their life. Again, I am very, very excited to, to help you on this road, and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. This has been Change Anything. I'm your host, Chuck Lott, and we'll see you next week.